what's up everyone it's me Harshin and today I'm gonna show you how can you can install Jupyter Notebook onto your Windows machine so it is very easy step and please make sure to watch the whole video so that you can miss any steps so first of all you need to install Python on your device as you, I have already installed so first just I will show you how to install it you have to go to python.org once you go there you have to download python for windows so just click here download download or and you have to click on download python 3.8.6 as i have already installed so i need not to install it again so i click to click on cancel so now next step is you have to go to your this pc now you might be connected to an internet and this step I will show you. You need to go to users, you need to go to your name. So I kept my username as SS as you can see. It is SS. It is written here. So my username is SS. You might get every name there. So now you have to go to app data. Now if you don't see app data here, just simply click on view. And hidden item mine is already checked so you have to click on this hidden item so as you have clicked on it i can see this and then you have to go to local now when we reach here you have to click on programs and i have already python installed so i have this now you might be having any other version so just have to click on it and then you have to go to scripts once you reach here just you might be a little bit confused because you might be having only 3 to 4 as I have already installed this Jupyter so I have not so many scripts but you might be having only 3 to 4 now simply you have to click on here on address bar and you have to type cmd now here you are I now you have to write pip install jupyter oh, I'm sorry notebook once you type into here it, this command will go on I have already installed so it will update for my case it will take a little bit time and make sure you are connected to an internet as you can see requirement already satisfied I already have installed so I need not to install it again so now once you are done with this it will almost take 3 to 4 minutes or if you are using an HDD so it will take almost 5 to 6 minutes or if you are using an SSD it will take gradually 2 to 3 minutes depending upon your internet connection as well as your hard disk so once you install this now I will show you how can you open it just you have to simply type J-U-P-Y-T-E-R Jupyter Notebook on the command prompt window and you will be here on Jupyter Network it will take 2 to 3 seconds depending upon your process oh, and it will open into this thing Firefox or any default browser which you are having so it is open in Jupyter Network here and now I can simply just create or edit now I have to recommend you one thing which you can do it is uh, you can simply just create a one directory onto your favorite or your personal hard disk as you can see I have already created on here now just go to that directory for example I have created this on local disk D so I'll go here and then I'll click on my Jupyter project projects so now in the address bar now first thing that when you whenever you will save your project it will save on the directory from where you have opened for example if i open cmd here and if i open jupyter notebook from here so it will open from here and it will load all the recent files which are there and if you open from anywhere and other it will open there so as you can see 
I already have some of my programs there so here are my two programs now the same thing will happen if you open in any other directory for example I'll open in this local to C I'll put cmd notebook and now it will open the files which are there in this directory let me show you the thing which i'm trying to tell you is you can create a directory or a folder where you can just simply keep all of your projects to be a little bit more concise and a little bit more systematic so i close off from windows make sure to subscribe and like my video and if you find it good please make sure to like and comment if you found any error or you are going to any wrong process you can simply comment on my video i'll go through it and i will surely reply to your time bye bye see you later